Hey everybody, it's Rick with Stumpton. I'm here today playing more Civilization V Asher Bonapol Edition. Last episode, we steamrolled Napoleon. The French didn't stand a chance. We went from Basur to Lyon, took Lyon. He actually had a city up here called Troyes. Took Troyes, but it was of no strategic value, so we burned it to the ground. Came on into Orleans, took that without much of a fight. Finally, Paris was collapsed in only like three or four turns. It all happened so fast, and now, We've got Washington down here to the south, so I'm going to try this episode to take Philadelphia and New York, and then hopefully Washington and Boston as well. That'll wipe off all the competition that I have on this continent. I'm pretty sure that there is no other civilization on this continent. It'll be all ours, and then we could just focus on building up our empire, our glorious, glorious Assyrian empire. So let's go ahead and get to work with that by selecting our tech for this episode. I'm going to select sailing because I noticed that we have pearls off of the coast here can you believe it pearls that's right i uh, didn't even realize that we had those there and i'm going to go ahead and heal up all of our units here and as soon as they're healed up then we're going to start to make our move on washington the, the person washington not the city washington though we will take washington eventually i just didn't want to confuse you guys as to which city we're going to take first and here is washington right now as a matter of fact saying that we're starting to attract a lot of attention and that's not a good thing well i think it's a great thing so get over it bro everyone's paying attention to me osher bonapol getting all the attention doing all the things that's right he's just mad because i'm popular you're just jealous that's all it is really isn't it you've always been jealous of me washington just get over it dude all right, we need to build roads to Lion, and Lion isn't growing, by the way, and I'm going to eventually unpuppet it and annex it so that we can actually start growing it, but now is not the time for that. But the time will come. Oh, yes, the time will come. Okay, we need to promote units all over the place. Not to mention we need to start moving them slowly southward. Okay, and we've got a worker here. Speaking of building roads, let's go ahead and build a road from Orlean to Lion as well. Just completely connect our cities. Okay, you're going to get promoted, and you are going to heal as well. All right. This is good. Oh, promote unit. One more promotion. There we go. Now we wait our next turn. Only one more turn until sailing is done. Then we can get those sweet-ass pearls. Oh, and look at this. We've actually got some enemies coming in. I have no idea where those barbarians are coming from, but they are coming, so we got to keep an eye on them. Right, you go ahead and move there, my great general. And everybody else, just start to make your way south. All right, so there's Philly. We got to manage to get these siege towers around Philadelphia and then go in for the, the final kill. Now, this city can attack. There we go. And you can build a road. Cool, all right. Everything's falling into place now. Just keep doing what you guys are doing. You guys are doing great. Doing great job. Great work, everybody. Now, I may be a warmonger, but I'd like to think that I'm a pretty nice tyrant. You know, though I may treat my enemies terribly, I like to think that I treat my troops well. Okay, sailing has been uh, researched, which means that now we can go ahead and build that little ship. I'm going to go ahead and protect that Coco, though, from that horseman, that barbarian horseman that just rolled in. All right, you guys are going to just start to scoot in there. Just start to scoot in. Oh, I've got two great generals now. That's right. Double the fun there. All right. Now the ceiling's been researched. Let's go ahead and do metal casting, which is going to give us the forge in the workshop. Not that I need those things immediately right now, but uh, I think that that's a fine thing to research next. Okay, Washington has the mausoleum of Polycarnassus, which would actually be pretty good for us. We have stone and quarries and stuff everywhere. The mausoleum would actually be a pretty good thing to have. All right, all the guys are moving in now. Okay, everybody's healed up, which means that we should be able to take this city soon. At least begin our attack here soon. Oh, I'm actually going to move you back. We have a scout there, and if I begin my attack, then he's going to be able to take our worker. And I want to be able to at least spare our worker there. Okay, we will be able to kill this swordman if I attack right now. I can go ahead and attack with my composite bowman, with my chariot archer and with my spearman should be able to take that which will leave just this guy here who will be able to attack us but okay i think i'm i think i'm gonna actually do that let's go ahead and declare war let's see if we can get away with this there you go dude we're declaring war on you deal with it 
Okay, war has been declared, and now, let's see. Uh, there we go, just as I was talking about. We're attacking successfully. So far, so good. And these guys, I could move in right now and just swoop up this right here, um, which actually may not be such a bad idea. Uh, but then I'm going to leave myself open for attack, so actually I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to hold off. We'll move those guys into position next turn. Okay, good. Yeah, that was actually a smart move on my part. I don't want to brag, but that was pretty smart. If I would have moved the siege tower, then they would have probably taken it. But now I can actually clear out the swordmen. Move this guy, move this guy, and finally move this guy here. Okay, and then slowly start to work in my other units. So Philadelphia should fall with, like, minimal problems. Like, they're, they're not going to put up much of a fight. That's what I'm trying to say. Right, you're going to move in here just so that their scout can't take you. And, all right. Things are looking good. This uh, attack is going off pretty well. Let's move you back here. I need to station you back in uh, a source so that... We can get that happiness and okay now we can attack so here's how this is going to work uh you're going to bombard philadelphia you're going to attack you're going to attack bam philadelphia has fallen to us we're going to create a puppet government i'm going to move you backwards there we go and we are going to attack our scout well their scout not our scout maybe our scout eventually once they fall under my rule oh we may end up losing philadelphia again um actually which uh Hmm. Because we are, at the moment, surrounded by swordmen. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm almost certain that we're going to lose Philadelphia again. Uh, with that being said, we're going to start to back up a little bit. We'll let them take Philadelphia. We'll retake Philadelphia again. And in so doing, hopefully, take out a few more swordsmen. But I am going to take this worker. Because I could really use him. And... Okay. Um, that is that. Pick it up, workers. Go ahead and finish building that road, dude. You were doing such a great job before. Don't let me interrupt you. And there we go. Now we're just going to let them take it, just like I said they would. People at the pointy sticks is, I'm in second place, which is uh, good to know. It's reassuring. That is a safe attack, but... I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to attack. There we go. Move you here, and we'll attack next turn. How about that? Let's do it that way. That's the safe way. And we like to play it safe whenever we can. Okay, I've got a worker who can actually move here and start building a road up towards Paris. And... Speaking of roads, you guys finish off that. And we need production in a sewer. So uh, we actually, speaking of production, so what can we produce? We need to produce cargo ships because we need to start getting some money into our city. Oh no, one of my spearmen was died. He was died. Uh, that's okay. We're gonna use, uh, we're gonna lose some units in this fight. We can't expect to keep everybody alive. I mean, I would love to be able to keep everyone alive, but that's just not gonna happen. It's never gonna happen, okay? It's never going to happen, you guys. There we go. Gonna create a puppet there. Once again, we've taken the city. And hopefully we won't lose it again. Though, I'm not gonna make any promises. Like I said, no promises. But what's nice is that it only had one population, so I was immediately able to take it over and actually bombard these units, which was, uh, which was nice. It was nice. Uh, I may end up losing this, though, so... Just in case I do, I'm gonna pull... This, uh, actually, no, I can't pull it out, can I? Oh, I can move it down here. I can always do that. Let's actually just go ahead and do that. Just in case I lose the city again. Okay, the city survived. Good news. And I should be able to take out this long swordsman. Maybe? Oh, so close. So friggin' close. There we go. Now the long swordsman's been taken out. All thanks to that warrior. Thank you, warrior. This goes to show you can still serve a purpose, even in the year 290 when you are an obsolete unit. 
and I can't upgrade you because I don't have any iron. Okay, now uh, we're gonna go take New York. We're just gonna let our siege towers heal up a little bit, and then we'll go ahead and do that, uh, but not before I go ahead and trade with Samarkand. Samarkand is now being traded with, hallelujah, and we are going to just start to move these guys into position. Battle casting has been researched, and we are now in the medieval era, which is just nice. It's nice that we're in the medieval era. I was getting sick of that classical era. Needed a change of pace, and, uh, you know, the medieval era, it's, uh, it's, it's, you know, does the job. It's just the right era to, uh, to do that for me. Uh, speaking of things that we need to do, what are we going to do next? We need to get guilds, guys, because we need to get money, all right? I'm having money issues. Part of that is because I don't have nearly enough trade routes, but we're working on that. Another part of that is that I just keep taking over cities. I just can't stop myself. Speaking of... New York, you're next, dude. You brace yourself because we're coming for you. Oh, uh, you want to make peace, do you? No, I don't think so. You're not getting off the hook that easy. No, sir. Hey, and a great prophet's been born. That means religion. It is time to make a religion. And what religion are we going to make? Hmm. I'm going to take uh, this logo, all right? And I'm going to give us a cool name, like a... Let's go with, uh, hmm. Slaughterama. Slaughterama, because we are slaughtering fools left and right. And what are we going to pick? I'm going to go ahead and go with Global Happiness. There we go. That'll give us a little bit of extra happiness. And I'm thinking, let's see, what is available for our follower belief? Let's see. Hmm. Two happiness in cities. Gardens provide two happiness in cities. I'm thinking that I'm going to need happiness. Shrines provide plus three happiness in cities with three followers. That could be that could be helpful. Let's see. Well, that immediately gave me at least one happiness, which put me happy instead of sad, and I like that. That ain't so bad. Okay. Can I start moving in now? Start moving in for the kill? I think I can. I think I can, and I think I will. Let's see. There we go. Okay, you're almost done building a road, which is cool. Speaking of, you're done building a road, which is even better. So what do we need? We need a farm, all right? So why don't you go ahead and do that? Go ahead and build a farm right where you're standing because we need to get some food to lion because it is not growing at all, like not even a little bit. And uh, that's not helpful. I mean, actually, I take that back. It's a little bit helpful because if it were growing, that would mean that it's actually taking more money and taking more happiness from me. So it's not all bad, the fact that it's not growing, but we still, we want it to grow. All right, we can trade with Laventa now, which is actually, we're producing, we've got a net positive growth now when it comes to our cash flow, which is nice. What are we going to produce in Asur? Um, I think that we're going to actually produce some units. Let's go ahead and produce some horsemen. And, ooh, we can actually finish off the honor tree, which is going to give us a break when we upgrade our units. It's going to cost 33% less, and plus we're going to be able to build barracks, armories, and military academies in 50% of the time. And actually picking that last policy, uh, it's going to grant us gold each time we kill an enemy, and it's going to allow us to purchase great generals with faith after the industrial era. So there's a little bonus, a little perk. All right, let's see. They're still firing at this siege tower, which is interesting, actually. Because I'm going to send this siege tower up here to heal up. And I'm going to send, let's see, this guy right up here to finish the road. We should be able to take New York next turn. I don't see anybody who's really at risk of dying next turn. Unless some kind of a miracle happens, we should be able to take New York. Yeah, there you go. And as a matter of fact, we actually got promotions for our units, which is very nice. New York, you are sure to fall this time. There is no way you are going to stay alive. And just to make sure that we take you, there we go. With no resistance, I'm going to create a puppet government. There we go. We are unhappy naturally, but I don't care. We're only two cities away from taking Washington down once and for all. 
Now, I think I'm going to take Boston next. Once I have Boston, then we'll have Washington kind of shut off from both sides. If I try to get in Washington right now, they're going to be able to send units from Boston, which are going to kind of ruin the... Uh, the invasion, so to speak. So I'm going to actually send my units down here, circumvent Washington, and try to take that out. But first I'm going to, let's see, heal up my units, give them their promotions. Okay, so here's the plan. Here's what I want to do. I want to move this guy down here, this guy here, and then this guy. Um, no, I'm sorry. This guy here, this guy here, and then this guy here. That way all three of them will be surrounding Boston and can kind of go in for the kill. Uh, though I could probably take it with just two of them. Okay, let's talk about our research. What are we going to research? Gunpowder. That's what we're going to research. We're going all military research techs at the moment. And a unit needs orders. Oh, it's you. Okay. You are going to wait because I can't move you anywhere. You want to give me Boston for free, do you? Okay, this is interesting. I can take Boston for free, leave him Washington, or I can take Washington. No, screw this. We're, we're gonna we're gonna take Washington. All right. Oh, look at that. And the sword the swordsman just fled. The swordsman fled, which is a dead indication that he doesn't think that he can hold on to Boston. He thinks he's going to lose it. Uh, he he doesn't believe that he can keep it. That's that's very encouraging. Okay, this horseman can be healed. I'm going to move him back here. This guy can... Actually, you can stay right there. This archer is going to... Move back one spot. And this guy is going to move right there. Okay. You're going to heal. You're going to move here. And you are going to heal. All right. You need to move somewhere where you will be safe. You're going to move back here. Okay, warrior. There we go. The warrior just saved my worker. And it looks like the encampment is up there. So my warrior can go take that out. I built a circus, which made my people happy. And I can build another cargo ship, which I'm going to do to get us some money. All right, Boston. You're done for. Now it's the time to take Boston. Bam, bam, bam. Boston is ours. And we get optics. I'm going to create a puppet government. We are very unhappy now, but we only have one city left, and that is Washington. We can do this. We can take Washington. I have another great general born. This is my third great general because I am going ham on these guys. Here we go. And actually, speaking of great generals, I can take theirs. My worker is back home now, and he can create a camp on those deer all right you guys we are going to do it we're going to clear washington in just a few turns i just need to heal up my units before i send them in for the kill i lost my spearman but i still have all my trebuchets and i just got a new trebuchet gifted to me this war has gone on way longer than i expected but we're still hanging on and i can take out that stupid musket man now Okay, Washington is nearly dead. I've got two spearmen on the way right now that can take Washington so long as these trebuchets keep up their work. Hopefully, Washington doesn't throw any more curveballs at me because I really want him to die, like, really badly. And I've gotten another great general. This is, like, the umpteenth great general I've gotten. I just want Washington to die already. Just go ahead and die, dude. It's been so long. So, so long. Okay, Washington has spawned yet another musket man. How he keeps doing this, I have no idea. I mean, obviously, he's only investing in creating musket men, which makes sense, but uh, okay. I've got a spearman now that I can send in here. Now, even if I lose these trebuchets, as long as they complete their task, then it shouldn't be a problem. There we go. Almost dead. The swordman is going to go up here, and having met the other civs, I've gotten a lot of happiness from uh, new trade deals, so that's going to really help me out. I'm really looking forward to ending this war so that I can actually just start focusing on expanding my empire, because uh, basically for the last, I don't know, 2,000 years, I've just been focusing on war, and uh, it's been a handful, to say the least. Okay, I have lost a trebuchet, but that's okay. 
because these two should be able to do the job. Here we go. One, two, three. Washington is dead. I congratulate you on your victory. Finally, we've done it. Oh my God, that was a very long war, but it's done. I, I've got it. I've got the continent all to myself now, guys. I can start building new cities if I want to. I can start expanding these cities. That's what I'm going to do next episode. My warmongering days for now are over. I've got my very own continent, and I need to clean up the mess that I've created here because Washington is in shambles. But that's it, guys. We've done it. It was tough, but we've done it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to give it a like, favorite, share, and subscribe, guys. Come back tomorrow when we'll be rebuilding this broken, fractured empire.